lava. Kitty can stay here for two days. Yeah, well, just drop her at the station and I'll, I'll pick her up in the Aston. She'll love it. Hiya. Hi. How does it feel to be home? Is it good? Have they done a good job? Are you pleased? You got your magnifying glass out yet to check every nook and cranny? Jesus Christ, Susie. You're not that anal. I only just got in. I haven't unpacked yet. Oh, I can see some dodgy brush stroke. Oh, brilliant. Can I listen in when you call them to Gigi Splane? Oh, piss off. How are the kids from The Shining? They oh. said anything yet? Oh, no, they've had a, they've had plenty to say, mostly. While they were getting wasted and trashing at my house. Oh, good. So there is a personality in there somewhere. Let's hope for them yet. Oh, listen, my um, goddaughter, Kitty, is coming to stay for a couple of days. I was thinking, like, maybe they could hang out while we drink, or they drink. Sounds like a nice idea, although I am still waiting for them to wake up, hopefully with absolutely massive hangovers. And then I'm going to make them clean up the mess in here while I pamper myself to within an inch of my life. But I'm going to see you next week, aren't I, for the big boozy lunch with the girls? Yeah, great. Sounds like a great idea. I've got, I've got to go. I've just seen something hideous on the corner scene. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry I missed your call last night, love. I was at my yoga class. Oh, it's fine, Dan. Um, I was just seeing if you were going to be at my birthday thingy. Mum said she'd asked you, but... Of course I'm going to be there. Have I ever missed it? Hey, I've got you something amazing for your prezzy. Uh, no, it's not cash, which has been king for you kids, but your nana wanted to get you something. Something extra special for your... for your 17th. How is your mum, by the way? Yeah, she's fine. A annoying. She's acting weird. Weird? What kind of weird? Like, giggly weird, I don't know. Giggly? <laughs> Your mum? Well, there's a turn up for the books. Be nice, man. She's still a bit pissed off with you. With me? What have I done? What, one minute she's giggly and the next minute she's pissed off? I'll put it down to a time of life. Suppose she's been slagging me off again? No, she's never slagged you off. She's not like that. But she was upset about that thing you put online. Yeah, I saw it. I know you feel like you have to stick up for Dad, but it was a bit out of order. Well, that's put me firmly in my place. A chip off the old block, eh? <laughs> Oh, me and your mum will be fine. And I promise I won't do anything to show you up at your birthday. Well, not unless you count naked karaoke. <laughs> I'm only joking with you. <laughs> God, I hope so. Oh, sorry. Yeah, bye, Nan. Bye, Mum. Bye, I love you. Never slagged me off my left tit, she hasn't. Has that synthesizer come? How old's your son? It, it's Ozzy, isn't it? Yeah, he's, um, he's very nearly 17, uh, going on 25, old head on young shoulders. I mean, in a good way. It's just been me and him since he was about 10. Um, we're like an old married couple sometimes. <laughs> Okay, that sounds weird. <laughs> Don't worry. I know what you mean. It was just me and my dad growing up, so half the time you love them, but a lot of the time you just want to kill them. <laughs> it's all very healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, look, sorry if I'm being a bit unspontaneous. Is that the right word? Well... According to your profile, no, it's not. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said spontaneous, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot that. Uh, <laughs> um, I may have had a, a, a little bit of help, you know, with the wording. No, oh, it's OK. Nobody should ever write their own bio. This is a, a whole new thing for me, so bear with me. Which bit? Online dating or women? Both. Is it that obvious? 
kind of. <laughs> but it's really refreshing. Believe me. I would love to see you properly, not behind a laptop. I'd really like that too. See? Spontaneity. <laughs> 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 this car. I bet it goes dead fast. Well, not today. It's a bore, but I'm one speeding ticket away from a ban. So, your mum tells me you've taken up sex. Uh, sax. I've, um, I've taken up playing the sax. Oh. Cheers. 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 We've got the whole place to ourselves tonight. Mm. Birdie is staying with a mate. I dropped a subtle hint that we needed some space from each other. How subtle? Subtle as a brick subtle. She was just as relieved to leave the house as I was to see her go. Well, you guys are so like you're bound to clash. Not just that, though. You know, I look at her and I see, see my life in fast forward hurtling by me, and then suddenly I'm here thirty years later. It's just, just like that. It shouldn't bother me, but I've got to admit it does. Thing is, I still feel like all those girls in all those songs, wild and beautiful and free. Hang about. Well, I thought you didn't give a shit about all of that age nonsense. But sometimes I do, I just do. Sometimes I lie awake at night and I don't feel like me anymore. And then I get scared. I get scared that you might not feel like me anymore. You are every single girl in every single song. To me anyway. There's Madonna Louise. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, she's a bit standoffish, but if she starts licking her balls and showing you, then you're well in there. Come on, let's get you settled in. I'm in my lover's house, who is exactly the same bedroom as us. Right. Did you not hear me knocking? The back door's locked. I can't... You all right? Yeah, I did hear you, but I'm still pissing razor blades, so I couldn't move off the loo. This is all your fault, you know. Why can't you get this started? Well, yeah, yeah, but we get the midlife crisis thing, don't we? Don't even compare my vagina drying up and giving me gyp... ...to buying a sports car and shagging a blonde. How dare you? I have never bought a sports car. No, 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 no. Honestly, don't bother. I've just had a phone call from Ricky's teacher. They want us to pop down the school, but I, I could go on my own. It's all right. <sighs> What's she been up to this time? Well, uh, there's been nothing on the news, so it can't be that bad. Maybe she's broken the world record for eye rolling. <laughs> what happened to our lovely little girl? She looks at me with a, a mixture of annoyance, contempt and a dash of pity. That's the worst one. Right, listen. Do me a favour. Let me talk to her, OK? Because I prefer not to be the referee in the House of Hormones big fight night thing again. Because, I, I mean, I don't know who's more scary at the moment, you or her. Well, I am the reigning world champ. Well, yeah, for now. But you, you've got a competition, Queen. I feel like she hates me. No, she doesn't hate you. She just... She loathes you. It's, it's a very different word. I miss her. Anyway... Go and see where the little Torag's been up to this time. Right, will do. I'll right, speak to you in a bit. Now, these were all Ginny's when she was your age. If there's anything you fancy, take your pick. Really? Yeah. Thanks. So how are you my godmother? Like, how'd you get chosen? That is quite a brilliant question, because I am neither motherly nor godly. I've known your parents forever. Your mum and I, we bonded over good music, bad men and even worse perms, while your dad taught me how to make a killer martini. They were a very cool couple. Mum and dad? They're so not cool. Ah, oh, there's the rub. No one ever thinks their own parents are cool. Bet you were a cool mum. <laughs> I think Ginny would have something to say about that. My uh, shells aren't exactly buckling under Mother of the Year awards. It's funny, you know, spending time with you. 
makes me think maybe I could have done things differently, made different choices as a mother. I mean, not pursuing my career or being at home as a full-time mum or doing all those things that you're supposed to do because you have a vagina. No. <laughs> but maybe I could have been there a little bit more for Ginny. But I despise being made to feel guilty. Especially when her father, who had equal responsibility, got off scot-free because he was an artist who had to fulfil his destiny unfettered by the minutiae of family life. And I despise being despised by my own daughter. <laughs> but enough of that. Let's stop being gloomy. There's havoc with my hormones. Come on, you. I'm going to teach you how to make a killer martini. <laughs> Wow. Might let you trash the place more often if it's going to end up this spick and span. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my ass. You're teenagers. It's your job. Well, maybe not in my house, but... Look, I know that we're not close, but we are family and I get it. You've been dumped on an annoying relative by an annoying parent and... You're not the only one who's annoyed. We just want to go home. No, I know you do. I know. I think your mum just needs space sometimes, but I promise you, she is coming back. I know it's not easy at your age, but you know, maybe you should just try enjoying it a bit more without having to get wasted. I love being a teenager. It was all about the freedom. I was the oracle, everyone else was an idiot, no one could tell me anything. It was just a, a haze of boys and best mates and dancing and having no responsibilities. Best days of your life, no doubt. So just lap it up. Mum said having us was her best years. Doesn't feel like that sometimes. Because it's bloody hard. Especially when you're on your own and it's what you're supposed to say, but it's, it's bollocks. No, don't get me wrong, having kids is, is great most of the time. Life changing, for sure, but as well as being wondrous and amazing and profound, it's also challenging and painful and messy and very, very expensive. But it does make you less selfish, mostly. A bit less of an arsehole. But your best years? Nah. No, I plan on having them now. In fact, starting from now. Who wants to make me a drink? Is it only gets hard?